guys, what's up? It's Natalie. Welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. I literally just woke up, but I wanted to do this video because I am 39 weeks pregnant. I did just wake up, so I look a little bit rough, but I wanted to show you guys my stomach and like a little bump update. So this is what it looks like. She's still growing. I do have one little stretch mark right there. I don't know if you guys can see it. And then I have a little bit like right underneath, but no one can see them but me, I guess. I don't know. When I take like really, really long showers, you can see them, but yeah, I don't know if that's normal. But I, I'm really lucky I only got one little stretch mark on me, which I'm happy about. But yeah, today is going to be super fun. I have a doctor's appointment today for him to check to see if I'm dilated. And yeah, so let's go. <laughs> I was gonna wear this, but no fit for today. Okay, I had to change because the other dress was way too tight so this is like one of the only things that fit me but we're going to our appointment now we stopped at starbucks really fast i got a caramel frappuccino so we're heading to the appointment right now we just got done with the appointment and I'm heading home literally the appointment went really really good I'm not dilated at all apparently and my doctor wants to see me on Monday to see how everything is going and seeing if I'm dilated and if I am then Tuesday I'll have her which is like my due date so, fingers crossed that I am dilated because I am over being pregnant and I'm tired. So now I'm just driving home. But yeah, that's like the little update for you guys. So I forgot to fill my lunch, but this is spicy soup. I'm going to show you guys what I put in it. Into it, it looks disgusting, <laughs> but it's really, really good. I'm almost done with it. So I've always been obsessed with this extra noodle Lipton soup. It's like extremely low in calories and it's the best thing ever because it fills me up. And then I also put sriracha in it to make it spicy because I'm trying to induce labor. I'm like beyond over it at this point. But yeah, this is what I'm having for lunch today. Normally though, I don't put the sriracha in. I've been doing the sriracha for about two weeks now. Um, I'm just trying to eat really, really spicy stuff. Also, I had some tea. I had my raspberry leaf tea. It's right there. I already finished it though. It is amazing. I think I might make another one in a little bit, but yeah, I just put honey in it and a little bit of sugar and I finished the whole entire thing, which was really good. Okay, I've literally gone through three waters today. 2.30, okay, that's not an accomplishment, but I've been drinking so much water lately. It's currently Wednesday and my mom just got us water Saturday and there's only one left, great. I'm also like extremely hot right now, like my face is really red um, and I don't know if it's from the soup or the hot tea or it just being Florida and it's so hot out. I have like all of the windows open. I have no sunscreen and no tanning oil and probably not the best idea to be sunbathing while pregnant. I don't know, is that like a thing? But yeah, I'm super, super hot right now. I don't know what to do. I feel like I should work out. I just want to induce labor so badly. Like, I don't think anyone understands how over it I am. I'm so happy that this entire pregnancy went so smooth, but I'm 39 weeks pregnant. I'm so done and so over it that it's, I just want her here. Yeah, and I'm starting to get acne too, so 
I don't know if that's like a sign. I don't really know. I have no idea at this point. Not sure if I mentioned this or not, but one of my biggest cravings my whole pregnancy has been chocolate chip cookies, but not the ones from Publix. You have to like actually make them, like bake them. And my mother-in-law basically said, have you ever had it frozen? And I was like, no. And that's now what I do. I literally make cookies and I freeze them and they are the best thing in the world. They're so good, so addicting. And I've never been the type to like make cookies and then eat the leftover cookies after they're like cold, not hot anymore. So the fact that she told me this, oh, game changer and it's so good and it is literally my biggest craving so i made one two three four five i've made five so i can have later moo moo what do you think do you think baby sister is gonna come on your birthday do you want her to say baby sister come out we're bored without you we're bored without you say it moo moos say my birthday is on the 25th and I want my baby sister heel. Okay, yesterday I got my Amazon package. This was the tape for the labeler. I really, really needed the tape because I wanted to label her drawers just in case like family members come over and like wanna help and you know, Sam wants to help <laughs> and for Sam to like know where everything is. So I labeled all the drawers and I'll show you guys now. This is what I did. So I labeled half bows mittens, pacifiers, socks, teethers, feeding bibs, spit up bibs, swaddles and burp cloths. So I'm doing newborn onesies and then newborn PJs. One of my subscribers told me to do all newborn in like one drawer, which I was like, oh, that's so smart. So that's what I did, I switched them. Then we have three to six onesies three to six PJs, and then six to nine kind of like onesies. I think I'm gonna do like a huge haul of all of her outfits. And then in here I have diapers for newborn. And then I have in here towel sheets and swaddles. Okay, so those are her drawers. And then I also wanted to label these. So these, this one has books. I labeled it right there, books bath care, beach toys, there's only one thing, the labeler, that's probably gonna get moved, and then nothing in there. And then in here, I did tubby toys, travel carriers, travel items, medicine, nine to 12 month feeding items, and then this one I kinda just have empty just in case I wanna put something else in there. But yeah, I'm gonna do like a whole entire like video on where I got some of her stuff at. So if you guys wanna see that, let me know. And then I also want to do, I love the lighting in here, like it's so good. <laughs> I also want to do a complete and total tour of her nursery just because like I just want it as like a memory and I've shown you guys a lot of it, but just not all of it. Um. So yeah, that's, definitely going up it's just hard to do because her name is on the wall and we've been trying to keep her name kind of a secret until she's here it's kind of hard to do a whole entire you know nursery tour when she's like not here and we haven't like said the name or anything so yeah so ready to get out of her room i'm gonna have to get him a bed because he loves being in here like it's the one room he like dies to come into like he wants to be in here so badly all the time So I'm gonna have to get him like a little bed and maybe put it like over there Or even like over here. I don't know. Come on Mumu. So I just got a knock on the door and Sam sent me some flowers today. How nice. I love them. Huge thank you to Love Everly for sending me these amazing products for sponsoring today's video and sending me these amazing products. They sent one of their kits and then the Play Gym. I'm so excited for this. I've seen so many influencers and moms have this for their babies, so I'm like almost positive my baby's going to love this and i'm so excited for her to even try it out but i'm going to show you guys the play kit so this one's called the charmer and it's for months three to four what's really cool about this company is toys are designed by experts 
for your baby's brain to develop. So this is what it looks like. Super cute. Here's one. I'm showing you guys like everything it comes with. So this side's the mirror. Black and white like picture for her to see it. Um, this is, this is a soft book. I'm obsessed with this because she can play with this in the car if we like go on an airplane. Um, and then you can also put in these flash cards inside just to help her see. And I like how it's all different textures too so she can play with it. Explore. Came with one of these. The silicone toy. The wooden toy. This like teether. I think I'm going to freeze this so when she starts to teeth, she'll have something. These. And then a little rattle. So they also have this suggested timeline for introducing the play things. So you're supposed to do the mirror first, then the soft book, then the black and white cards, and then it just goes on and on. So that's really, really handy. I am so excited for her to play with these and learn. I'm not going to open up the play gym now, but I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. I'm going to open it when she's here so it's fresh and new and exciting because she's still in my tummy right now I'm excited to try these out with her thank you so much love everly for sending me these products and sponsoring today's video oh, oh, oh.